Welcome back everybody to Random Junk's not review of Dropsy. This is the second part of a two part video. If you haven't seen the first part, then what the f are you doing here? You can get out. Get out. I highly recommend you check out the first part so all of this makes sense. Or makes a little more sense. Since, you know, Dropsy kind of doesn't, you know, like, you know, it's not like Dropsy always makes sense, but it it'll make a, a little more sense. Also, massive spoilers ahead. If you haven't beaten the game and want to, please return back after you do so. If you've seen part one and are ready for the conclusion, let's continue. We return back to the CEO, but Dropsy's dog goes missing. Dog, what are you doing? Hey, what the f are you doing? And of course, our little mutt drops down and falls down into a mining cart. Don't worry though, our beloved Dropsy won't abandon his dog and we can just get a new dog. Dropsy won't even know the difference and we can just paint the face red. <laughs> just kidding, we're not gonna do that. We systematically infiltrate this mining facility and with the help of our bird as well, he's able to take the air and the mouse takes the low ground. We disable any deadly energy turrets because, you know, those exist. And of course, Dropsy feels the need to hug the turret's dead carcass. Birdie helps release the pup towards the sandy junkyard where we see our canine companion. Oh, doesn't love a nice reunion. We return back to the CEO's tent and mesmerize him with our tricks, of course. He is very pleased and informs us to go to sleep and prepare for tomorrow's big, big day. The grand opening of his new Neo Circus. We return home to rest up, but Pops tells Dropsy how much he loves him and appreciates his help for healing him from his sickness. Dropsy is like the best man ever, man. So peaceful and kind no matter the circumstance. Pops has something to show Dropsy. As it turns out, Dropsy isn't Pop's son at all. Pops tried to have kids with his wife, but could not conceive, I assume. But one day, his wife saw something fall from the sky, and there was baby Dropsy. He was raised by his foster parents, and they loved him like a son. So Dropsy's an alien, eh? Well, that kind of explains a lot. No ears, noodle arms, and the exceptional creep factor. <laughs> Dropsy falls asleep, but back in the middle of the night, we see a robot peek into Dropsy's crib and alien relics. Once morning arrives, the CEO informs Dropsy that his friends are already waiting for it. Pops is very proud of Dropsy and sends him off. On the way, we see all the posters and advertisements of the big show, as well as all the friends we made happy and all the new friends we made. The amusement park is open and it's bustling with people and a reporter. The big show is coming, not that big show. Finally, Dropsy's getting the attention he deserves. You walk into the center and await for your pal. Oh my god, no. All his friends have been horribly mutated into disturbing, disgusting creatures. What the f What the f What is this? CEO planned this from the very, very beginning. He wanted to use the animals to make this as some weird, sick, and twisted, death defying event while onlookers watch. Then we see Dropsy smiling and laughing. His pals, despite their deformed and crazy appearance, still love him and won't harm him no matter what. People cheer for Dropsy. As soon as Dropsy wakes up, everything is destroyed here. The only way to go is through the food processing building. There we see the CEO has been experimenting with animals and creating horrible abominations all along. Once we enter his office, we see various maps and news clips with Pops and Dropsy as if he's been keeping track of them all this time. It's kind of creepy actually, to be honest. This bastard has been looking for these artifacts and tech all along. And on the table, we see the cigar. That's the cigar that started all of this. The reason Pop's wife died, the reason Dropsy was hated amongst everybody. It was all the CEO, for whatever reason. As we wander through the city, we see all the civilians pretending not to see Dropsy and shield him from the authorities. All of the people Dropsy helped are helping him now. All who were afraid hating him now are now treating him as their friend. After wandering through the mysterious forest and cave, we near the glowing pillars. Dropsy enters and once we emerge, we are in a strange and mysterious world. There we see the deranged CEO groveling in front of a statue that kind of looks like the same species as Dropsy himself. But there's nothing we can do. What can we possibly do here? We can't fight this bastard even as much as we want to. All I can do is hug, so guess that's what I'm gonna go for. It's all it allows me to do. It's all Hot Dropsy knows what to do and how to do. Hug. No. 
Oh no, no, damn it, no, not this again. Or drops his shot and bleeds out. Honestly, this thing is sad, man. Like, damn sad. Like, I don't care how manly you are, if you play this game and or even maybe if you watch all these cutscenes, this moment is is a shocker and it's it's really sad. This is that one character in the gaming world who really truly never deserved any of this kind of treatment. Full of nothing but love and kindness. There we see Dropsy is alive! Not only that, he's on a strange spaceship and once he reaches the top, there are his pals. And some he's never seen before, or we've never seen before. His family and his beloved buddies are alive. Unless this is some weird purgatory and they're all dead, I don't know. I don't know. You be the judge of that. He hugs all his friends and family and the female alien and the credits roll. Damn, what a game that was. What a journey, what a story. The feels, the damn feels. So many happy and sad times. This game messes with your emotions, man. What a game. And as it turns out, Dropsy is another result of a successful Kickstarter project. Magnificent. In a world of creepy, crazy, ugly, disgusting clowns, Dropsy is the only one I can truly trust, probably. Well, thank you all for the following me through this journey. Feel free to support the composer or the creator himself. The game is only $10 and there's more I didn't showcase here. It's only about 3-5 to five hours long, but it's definitely an experience. Hope you guys kind of dug this new style of video, where I kind of dig into the game and kind of give you my experience of what I felt playing the game. It gives me full range on comedy and uh, just about anything I want to say. I am not limited by trying to be too factual or information. It's nice. Don't worry, reviews will still be coming and I won't always be spoiling entire games. It's just for this one, I didn't want to leave you all hanging. I want to tell you the complete story here. If you want to see my last game review, click here. And if you want to see a trailer review of any kind, click here. Thank you all for watching. This is Random Junk, signing off.